The government is demanding that councils across the West Midlands step up their recycling rates. Yet massive incinerators costing millions of pounds could still be built. So why would councils want to burn rubbish at a time when the focus is supposed to be on recycling? Across the West Midlands we have a big and very expensive problem. Rubbish and how to get rid of it. One solution is to burn it. We need a solution for our waste now over the next five years, ten years, fifteen years and twenty years. But is burning waste burning taxpayers' money? On a company that's killing, that's not good for the council, it's not good for the electors, it's not good for taxpayers, it's good for the company, but it's not good for the public. And we have discovered that at least one incinerator planned for the West Midlands could become a multi-million pound white elephant. It, it's just not sensible from an economic and environmental point of view. Down the decades, we've become a throwaway society, with more and more rubbish going into landfill. And years ago, we simply really didn't care what we threw away. But now, waste disposal has become a part of our lives in a way in which we never could have imagined 50, 60, or even 70 years ago. And sending our waste to landfill is not a long-term option. So councils have needed to look at other solutions. And one way is to burn it. But incinerators are controversial, and last month Coventry City Council threw out one plan to build a massive new incinerator, a private contract worth £1 billion. And this councillor is certain the decision will save money. I'd like us to actually look more towards the sort of zero waste uh, option, and I'd like to see us um, trying to reduce waste at source will be saving, you know, well, uh, hundreds of millions of pounds. Coventry decided they didn't need it and is going to manage with its smaller existing one, but critically they aim to recycle more and reduce waste. And over the past 15 years, the amount we recycle has gone from just 6% to 36%. So the amount we send to landfill is reducing dramatically. But here in Shropshire, the council are trying to press ahead to build their incinerator. But it's not cheap. It'll cost taxpayers over £100 million and be paid back to a private contractor over 27 years. A bit like a very big mortgage with no exit clause. Yet the council is certain it's needed. What are the other solutions? The other solution is to put it to a hole in the ground, which at the moment and w will not be a viable long-term solution. So we need a, a solution for our waste now over the next five years, ten years, fifteen years and twenty years. So Coventry don't need theirs and Shropshire wants to build one. Question is why? Well, it's all about being able to predict the future. Inside Out obtained a copy of the business case for the Shropshire incinerator contract. Shropshire predicts the amount sent to landfill will actually increase in the county over the coming years. And it has to, because for the incinerator to be economically viable, it's going to have to burn more waste than Shropshire currently sends to landfill. So, will the waste we send to landfill increase, or could we recycle even more? Time for an unscientific experiment. Meet Anna. She's a bin doctor. We took her to meet two West Midlands residents. Could they reduce the amount they send to landfill? Karen is a busy mum of six. Sue is a foster mum with a very busy household. Like most of us, both Sue and Karen recycle quite a bit already. See, we've got lots of different types of, of cardboard in here, which is great. Will Anna find any room for improvement? This is, I have to say, this is a bit I'm not particularly looking forward to. <laughs> it's like a bottles and yeah, so cans. In theory, these are recyclable. They can be made into new plastic. Quite a bit of cardboard, which could be recycled. It didn't take long. Anna found a bag of food waste. Uh, in the UK, we throw away 8.3 million tonnes of food waste every year. And this is, most of that is food that we could have eaten. And that accounts for roughly 40% of all waste sent to landfill. 
In fact, everyone we spoke to seems to think the amount of waste we produce in the future is going to go down, not up. And one waste expert thinks we're undergoing a cultural change in how we think about waste. The way we look at things, the way we demand materials, we've definitely changed from thinking of um, this sort of stuff as waste to thinking as a resource. So we're looking at what we can do with it now. And so it's the technology that turns this plastic from being waste plastic from someone's bin into a fleece that they might wear the next day. So why does Shropshire think it's going to produce more waste in the future? The business case was drawn up three years ago, at a time when we weren't recycling as much and when government had imposed big housing targets. But despite the government scrapping those targets, despite the recession and despite all the spending cuts, the council insists there will be more houses and more businesses. And that means more rubbish. There's still an aspiration for Shropshire Council and the community of Shrewsbury and Shropshire to grow, so economic growth, uh, employment growth uh, and housing growth within Shropshire. So we are still looking at 21,000 houses over the next 15 years or so. So it's a big gamble and not every councillor wants to take it. But despite already being rejected by the planning committee, the scheme hasn't gone away yet. If the incinerator does go ahead, the council will be locked into a 27-year deal, which requires Shropshire to burn more waste than it currently landfills. And if they don't burn enough, they'll have to pay for it anyway. In the private sector, if you're an executive and you told your colleagues on the board you just signed a 25-year contract to another company, which lost all flexibility, they would not be impressed. It's not private sector practice. And a very similar, very rigid finance agreement was struck in Stoke back in 1995 for an incinerator. An Inside Out discovered that Stoke City Council was recently sent a bill for £645,000 by its contractor for not burning enough waste. The council told us they are in negotiation over the tonnage sent to the incinerator and would not comment further because of impending legal action. So, how is Anna doing poking around in the bins? I mean, it is, it is recyclable. It can be recycled and turned mm. into new plastic. Yeah, she, she's made some fair comment that, you know, I think I'll look into having a compost bin. Many of us, just like Sue and Karen, do recycle a lot. But it seems we could do even more. And once technology improves, councils will be able to collect even more. How much more do you think we can recycle and, and reduce overall waste? Well, I think if you look at um, what other countries are doing, um, Flanders in Belgium, they're hitting a 70% recycling rate. There's no reason why we couldn't be doing that as well. It's ambitious, but it's definitely achievable. So the UK could effectively double the amount it currently recycles. And perhaps that's one of the reasons why seven new incinerator projects in the UK have recently been scrapped. We need a solution for Shropshire. And we need a solution for the, fact, for, the, for the businesses, we need for the uh, offices, for the restaurants. Uh, we need a solution for that. So we think uh, and we believe, and I stand here and I, I do believe, that actually there is, it is a viable solution for dealing with waste that can't be effectively recycled. And there will be enough of that waste that, w that will need to be treated. It just doesn't really make sen sense at all. Recycling is improving all of the time. In the future, we're going to be able to recycle more things and we shouldn't be wasting them. We should be flexible and allowing ourselves to recycle them now and in the future.